I am in 59th question, level 2, kinematics. The question is, a body is projected vertically up, crosses two points A and B, which are separated by 28 meters, with velocities of a one third and one fourth of the initial velocity of throw resistance. This information, we have to find the maximum height reached by the stone above the ground level. So the given instruction, let us put it in form of a diagram. So this is the ground level and this is the maximum height above the ground level up to which the thrown object reaches and this is what we are supposed to find then there is an object uh, which is a thrown vertically upwards with an initial velocity of u which we don't know we are supposed to find also in that process of solving since the object is in upward motion uh, it is decelerated by 10 meter per second square so we should take it as negative this object passes through two points, point A and B, which are separated by 28 meters. And uh, this, uh, the object crosses point A with a speed of one third the velocity and crosses point B with uh, one fourth the initial velocity. So U by 2, U by 3. With this information, we have to find the maximum height acquired by the body. At the maximum height, the final velocity turns to zero. So, we have to find H max. So, to find H max, we should know the initial velocity of throw. For that purpose, we will consider this part of the journey. Here, we will apply the third equation of motion. That is, V square minus U square is 2G H. H is 28. So, let's begin. We have a V square minus U square is a 2G H. So final velocity is a U by 4 square. Initial velocity is a U by 3 square. Since G is negative and minus 10, so this turns out to be minus 20. And H, H is the distance between points A and B, which is a 28. Here u square is highest common factor. So we will take u square out. And in the bracket we have 1 by 4 square that is 16. And 1 by 3 square that is 9. And on the other side we have minus 560. This on further solving u square. LCM of 16 and 9. These are prime to each other. So LCM is their product. And then we have here minus a 9 minus 16 and this is minus 516. We go for a simple cross multiplication also. So we have u square times minus 7. 9 minus 16 is minus 7. Minus 516 times 144. So you can cancel this and we can cancel 7 once and 7 eighths 56 and we have initial velocity u square as 80 times 144. So u will be square root of this which we can put in prime factors and get the velocity. So if we put in prime factors u turns out to be 48 root 5. But right now I am just guessing that we may require u square. So up to this we have reached let us have this and let's see the next step. Since we know that time of ascent is always equal to time of descent. Time of ascent we calculate as u by g. Time of descent we calculate as twice h max by g. Now squaring on both sides to remove the root. So I will make use of this space to solve further. So squaring on both sides we will get u square by g square is equal to twice h max. h max is our requirement by g. Then what things cancel? Let them cancel and then h max h max is uh, u square divided by 2 times g. So u square by twice g. So h max which is our requirement is u square and u square is 80 times 144. So 80 times 144 twice of 10. You can cancel this and we can have one more round of cancellation here also. So the maximum height attained by the thrown body or object is 4 times 144 which it turns out to be 
576 meters and this is the answer.